After our resounding victory against the IJN on March 30th, 1942, which resulted in the loss of one Japanese heavy cruiser, a series of attacks were conducted by enemy aircraft on Task Force Basilisk and Task Force Python. These were harassing in nature and resulted in most of the enemy aircraft being destroyed. Later in the afternoon, a lone float plane was detected. This indicates that another enemy task force is in the area. The search begins. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series with the Abdicom mod. It is March 30th, 1942, and we have a Japanese task force off the coast of Batavia, which we have not detected. We did have scouts up in the area, however, I think they did sneak through due to the storm here. Regardless, we are going to strike now and hopefully we can get them to turn around. I'm going to scramble some M139s. Actually, let's get some Hurricanes first. Have them move up there. Additionally, Batavia, New Air. There we go. And we will use 2,000 pound high explosive bombs. Go to tactical now. Take a look at what we are dealing with. Wash. Yeah, I think the weather certainly helped. Visibility is nil. We have some DO-24s in the area. However, I don't believe these guys are carrying bombs. Oh no, they are. Okay. Now we just gotta fly around until we find the enemy. Yeah, visibility's atrocious. Bring up the binoculars, see if I can pick anything up out there. Oh, ship spotted. Okay, so turn around. You're a little close. All right, Japanese heavy cruiser, two of them. Oof, three of them. That is not good. Yeah, this is quite the task force and a couple of light cruisers. All right, let's try to hit one heavy cruiser with everything we got. Maybe one of them getting damaged will encourage the rest of them to turn around and uh, abort their mission. That would be swell, wouldn't it? Okay, drop down. Please and thank you. All right, who are we going for? Target two is a little destroyer. So target number three, this is going to be our primary here. All right, drop down. Gosh, the weather is bad. We're gonna have our hurricane just fly right over and drag flak. I'll have these guys come in and try to hit target one with bombs. And our M139s are going to attempt to do the heavy hitting here. Form up in diamonds. Yeah, she's almost dead in the water. These seas are really rough. I feel like this is, these are rougher seas than I have seen previously. In war on the sea. I mean, these are quite large swells. All right, keep dropping down. As low as you can get real quick and turn in on target. Yeah, they're turning pretty hard here. Already lost visibility. Okay, level out. Yeah, target one's our target. She's just cruising. Okay, keep dropping down if you can, please. No wonder they snuck through. Look at this fog bank. I can barely even make out our primary friend. There she is. Formed up nicely. I wish we could get into an even tighter formation here. However, I think we'll be okay. Let's make sure we're lined up appropriately. That's the target. I'm going to do the manual bombing strat, which seems to have worked out rather well in the past. All right, avoid the flak. Okay, I accidentally broke number four off there. Gosh, look at the waves, my goodness. All right, get ready. And bombs away. Come on, there we go. Direct hit. 
I don't know if our other aircraft dropped their bombs. However, that was a pretty good hit there. All right. Second formation of M139s come in. I have a feeling... I have a, f a strange feeling that this one still has a bomb. Let's try. I wish there was an easy way to tell. I'm sure there is, and I just don't know it. However, the second formation of M139s is going to come in. Oh, wow. She has a big fire on her foredeck. Okay. Okay, come on. DO-24s are going to drop. Hopefully, they get some hits. There we go. Bombs away. Four bombs out. Number two is dropping back there. Oh, my gosh. All right. There we go. Direct hits by bombs. That's what I'm talking about. For once, level bombing actually did something well. And I think one of her main guns is knocked out. Oh my goodness, this thing is getting absolutely wrecked. Oh, we lost one of our DO 24s. I just want to check the report real quick. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, M139 is racing in. We can see the fire out there. Looks like she is blazing from stem to stern. Here's hoping another 2,000 pound bomb will really do some damage, cause some flooding, and send her to the bottom. It'd be lovely if this discouraged the Japanese from attacking. Okay, we need our hurricanes to fly over one more time. I have a feeling they're going to bombard the port. However, I don't know if they're really going to be able to land on uh, Batavia with this task force. I guess they could be carrying troops on the light cruisers. However, three heavy cruisers, that seems like quite the force to bombard a port with. Our attack run is about to begin on the target. Unfortunately, she is quite protected by lots of other aircraft. These little destroyers are getting in our way. Um, let's circle around. I want a clear opening before I hit. And it looks like secondaries are going off. No, maybe not. She's still on fire. Uh-oh. They're about to be a collision up here. That would be quite unfortunate. Boink. Okay, well, they need to move out of my way so I can bomb the heavy cruiser. That is our primary target. You know what, though? Hurricanes? Get in here. It's time to, time to do your job. Time to start strafing. Thankfully, the heavy cruiser is nice and illuminated. We cannot see anything. I would not want to be a pilot in these conditions. All right, we are moving as quickly as we can. We'll probably reduce our speed. There was another secondary explosion out there on target. She's not looking good. I would love for this to be the final blow here. It seems the 2,000 pound uh, uh, bombs are certainly the way to go. They are still ramming each other. Okay. All right. Come left. We're just going to run the gauntlet. Hurricanes. Go strafe. Wait a minute. Trying to. All right, our M139s need to come around the right, I think. Maybe our best bet. And I want our hurricanes to strafe the destroyers, please. All of you, strafe the group of destroyers that are currently colliding with each other. I just want our M139s to come in at the best angle to drop their bombs. Look, another secondary. I'm halfway tempted to split our fire, but... And drop bombs on a different heavy cruiser. However, I think our best bet is to just go for the one that's crippled. All right. Hurricanes are dragging flat. Come around. I'm hoping... I'm hoping our hurricanes just cause quite a bit of damage on both of these guys. That'd be swell. Yeah. Just like that. 
Okay, we lost one, unfortunately, but there we go. All right. Here we go. Go get them. Good luck, M139s. I'm going to make sure all of you drop your bombs. And we will do... Make sure all of you are selected. See if that can ensure a hit. Go for a midships. Shit. Drop. There we go. One hit. We lost one. We lost all of them, essentially. And there has been a collision here. However, another direct bomb hit right in the tower. And she is dead in the water. Let's have our hurricanes come around. This has been costly. Form up. Increase altitude. Come around and investigate our friend here. See how she's doing damage-wise. Well, it doesn't look like we lost all of our aircraft for nothing. This heavy cruiser does look like she is going to go down. She's dead in the water, taking on loads of water. Her state is critical damage, critical flooding. It's only a matter of time, I think. Hopefully, this will be enough to force the Japanese task force to turn around and abort bombarding our airfield and port. We will see, though. We have it, folks. Official confirmation. The heavy cruiser is going down. That is another Japanese heavy cruiser going down for us. One out of the count. Here we go, folks. Here is the after action report. One heavy cruiser was sunk. 9,000 tons sent down to the bottom. Additionally, these two destroyers managed to damage each other. We gained two command points. Let's continue on. And RTB, let's see. Let's see if they continue on their mission to bombard the port or turn around. We'll see if that was enough to deter them. Uh, the port has not been bombarded just yet, so I'm starting to think we may have convinced them to turn around and abort their mission. Uh, detecting them in this weather is not really going to be possible. We'll have to be... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I spoke a little too soon there. Okay. Batavia was bombarded by enemy ships. However, it looks like it's still level 3, level 4, respectively. So, let's have O19 head down and try to intercept them if she can. Okay, we uh, reduced the amount of damage we would have taken here. So that is good. And additionally, we got a couple more command points. Everything else in the theater is going rather well. All of our convoys are running back and forth. We have our fresh batch of supply and troops coming soon, hopefully. We do have 44 command points. I am saving those to get HMS Warspite into the theater. Anyway, I will keep you all updated of future developments. Uh-oh, we have a little problem. Japanese task force is heading south towards Sarabaya. We have to convince them to turn around. We have some CW-21s in the area, plus Task Force Python, which has USS Houston in it, which has freshly been rearmed. Let's make sure, yep, we are spaced a thousand meters apart. I'm liking this formation, that's okay. Actually, let's split, let's get the Reuter in the number three position. There we go. Perfect. We have CW-21s in the area. Let's go to tactical, shall we? Start. Okay, first things first, everybody turn on your radar. Make sure everybody is using that. And where is the enemy? Ooh, nice and close. Okay. Let's issue orders. Engage number one. For the time being, please and thank you. Okay, number one is a light cruiser by the looks of things. So yes, engage her. CW-21, spiral down and strafe it. Okay, perfect. Already engaging solutions at 23%. We are 10 kilometers away from the target. Should be off. Do not see that. Oh, there they are. Yep, there is the enemy task force. 
Looks like two light cruisers, two destroyers. Okay, we are going to focus fire on one of them. Enterprise, can you fire some star shells? Agano. Okay, fire star shells over the target. We also need to... We'll run steady for a little bit. Solution's already so good. 85%. Stop firing. Narrow spreads. Fire armor piercing, please. Fire armor piercing. A magazine explosion would be absolutely lovely. However, I'm not going to bank on it. Not yet. Oh, wow. She's already on fire, though. We've already gotten at least a hit. So that's... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Okay, CW-21s are closing in. Looks like her main turrets are coming around to try to deal with that threat. Hopefully we don't lose too many aircraft in this. We're going to primary this first uh, light cruiser before going on to number two. It looks like they are of the same class here. Yeah, CW-21s definitely harassing the target. Got another hit there. Did not mean to use time compression, but there we have it. Okay, are they on a steady course? No, but torpedoes. They're all of them. Let's do a five degree spread. Fire. Deroider, you do not have torpedoes. However, Enterprise does. She has quite a few if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay, all your torpedoes will do a six degree spread. Fire. All right, let him have it. And she is already not looking very good. I'm thinking once we fire off our fish, we are going to break and maybe even break contact. This is a pretty even fight, so I want to reduce the amount of time here. Houston's already on fire. I just don't want Houston to get hurt too poorly. Okay, torpedoes are away. Let's start coming left and turning around. Well, Deroider is now taking quite a bit of fire, so she is going to break off and increase speed. Actually, Deroider, break right. Why don't you? She's engaging target number three here. She has a 32% solution on target. And just break around. Enterprise, engage target three as well. Please and thank you. Secondaries, fire star shells over the target. Try to get it properly identified. Number one is not looking too good. You send rudder amidships, increase speed to full. Okay, another Agano. We have our CW-21s closing back in. All right, situation's getting a little confused here, but that's okay. We caused some damage, get out of here, send aircraft in. That may be our best bet. I just don't want Houston to get too heavily damaged, frankly. She is quite a valuable asset. Obviously. Deroider has some flooding. Image control, working on the fire. Working on the flooding. Good, love to see it. Rotor and midship solutions only 36%. Alright, start deploying smoke. Momi class destroyer. Houston, do engage engage the cruiser, please. Do not engage the destroyer. Marblehead, engage this cruiser as well. Switch fire. CW-21s are closing in one more time. Let's see how they hold up. Enterprise, keep heading this way. Deroider, rudder, and midships. Keep blowing smoke. Get out of here. The fight is still progressing. 
we have lost contact on quite a few of them. However, number three is only 11 kilometers away. We're still engaging. It looks like there was just an explosion way out there. Possibly. Or she is on fire. De Reuter is still engaging. There we go. Target three. Yeah, no. It's this one that's on fire. She is not looking good. According to the report, she actually has heavy damage. So that is good to hear. However, we are still primarying this one. Launched a fresh spread of star shells above her. Marblehead should be engaging her as well. Everyone's engaging her. We are moving to really cut her off and finish this one off. Everyone looks okay. We just have to keep our eyes peeled for Japanese torpedoes. That is a big threat, of course, as we all know. Houston is still engaging. Let's do a narrow spread fire armor piercing. Solutions above 50%. There we go. This is quite a hazy morning. Looks like there is an internal fire. That was a close miss. That was a nice bracket there. Hopefully we get a magazine explosion or something really exciting. That would be that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Deroider is starting to take some serious heat, so we are going to have her begin deploying smoke. Also, I want her to slow down and try to listen. I believe she does have passive hydrophones. I want to be sure uh, we're not about to run into a whole bunch of torpedoes here. Also, this one's re-entering the fight. Wow, that was just a really good spread, and I completely missed it. It looked like multiple hits were on this Agano. This one is still running away, digging on loads of water. She has developed quite the list to port, and she is on fire from her bow to amidships here. Let's see the report real quick. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. So, uh, chances are we may be able to finish her off. Oh my gosh, our Hudsons have made it into the area. How cool, okay. Um, drop down, down to 20, get in here, okay, this Hudson, okay, form up, drop down to the deck, we are going to hit target three, this is the primary threat for now, I just, I am concerned about torpedoes, it is time to turn around, let's turn to port, we can avoid the whole torpedo situation. Deroider, how are you looking? Okay, increase speed. Get out of here. Damage control. Working on fires. Houston, damage control. Work on the fires. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, hopefully we get some beautiful bomb hits here. I'm going to attack one at a time. CW-21s are closing in. Okay, this one's going to go in first. Continue dropping down to the deck. The manual bombing is just far superior to having the AI do it itself. The AI is quite poor at it. However, me just guessing has proven to be quite a good strategy. All right, Houston, I had you using, go back to armor piercing, please. I had Houston using high explosive for a brief moment there. Let's see, will this Hudson get any lower to the deck? Getting a bit lower. Closing in nicely. If I remember correctly, each Hudson is carrying two 500 pound high explosive bombs. Okay, bob and weave here because that's a good amount of AAA. I think her main batteries are dual purpose as well. Okay, bob and weave, go for the bow. Get ready, three, two, one, drop. There we go, bombs away. Oh, shit, and we <laughs> we were too low once again. Okay, good to know. However, that was two direct bomb hits. This Hudson, come around. Okay, my poor Hudson pilots um, have proven to be quite uh, disposable, I guess you could say. All right, two bomb hits, though, and an aircraft hit. He still looks okay, unfortunately. Uh, no, she really doesn't, though. I'm wondering if I should have this 
Hudson go after this far one out here. I think I will. I think I will have this Hudson swing around and engage one. Make sure. Keep up the pressure there. Houston. Please just unleash hell. Let him have it. Marblehead. What are you up to? Are you out of ammo? You sure are. Okay, well, illuminate fire star shells at her. Torpedo time. Torpedo time. Come left slightly. I can't believe I accidentally ran my Hudson into... That's the second time I've done that. can't believe I've done that. I'm going <laughs> to have... I'm going to have so many comments about that I already know. No. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. I thought we were going to clear it. I'm going to be honest with you. That's okay. That, you know, that Hudson pilot. All right. Fire our torpedoes. All right. CW-21s. That Hudson pilot's going down in history. That's for sure. Okay. Losing another CW-21. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, this Hudson's slowly working our way around. Yeah. This uh, this cruiser looks rough now. Really rough. Keep engaging, though. Okay, our light cruiser friend is in absolutely terrible shape. We have Enterprise still engaging her. However, I have ordered Houston to begin engaging this destroyer. It is starting to, this Yagumo. It is uh, causing some annoying damage. So, you know what, let's let's get rid of it real quick. Uh, solution's already at 75%. Houston, shit, shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we are. We are so incredibly lucky. I did not deserve to be that lucky. Right full rudder. Oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack there. Poor Houston, two dud torpedoes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Make sure this Yugumo pays for that. She's deploying smoke now. Okay. Um, those torpedoes were not called out, which is concerning. Uh, De Reuter. Just going around here. Head this way. You are engaging the Yugumo as well. Uh, begin engaging the cruiser. Is she even returning fire at this point? Doesn't look like she is. She's pretty much dead in the water, but close in and keep engaging. Houston. Damage control. Work on the fires. Fires are tearing us up. This Yugumo looks okay, unfortunately. He's racing away. Solution's down to 95%. Fire some star shells above. I think it's time to disengage, though. I think so. Okay, let's begin popping smoke. Deploy smoke. Get out of here. Everybody get out of here. When you waiting for this Hudson to actually encounter that other cruiser. I don't see her, unfortunately. Houston, keep engaging that destroyer, though. I do not appreciate it trying to torpedo me. We got very lucky there. Way too lucky. This one's closing in as well. However, she's still obscured by smoke to Houston. Transition, engage that one. Blow it out of the water, please. Here we have it. Official confirmation. The light cruiser is going down. I have this Hudson patrolling way up here looking for the other light cruiser. However, we can't find her. So I'm just going to order it to level bomb this Bomi class destroyer that we've been engaging. She looks pretty rough. We'll see if we get a bomb hit. If not, it's okay. We are getting out of here though. We are disengaging at this point. This task force probably could go home and rearm and repair. However, 
repairs just take so long, and not having Houston in the theater is going to be quite the blow, despite her heavy damage. Regardless, we're getting repaired up nicely. Thankfully, we did not take those two torpedo hits. That was quite rough. And if we look here, you can see the report. We obviously destroyed one. This other one has heavy damage, heavy flooding. So if we re-encounter her, we should be able to make quick work of that target. Well, I decided I'm not going to level bomb this thing. Let's try to sink this little guy. Let's go up to, I'm thinking 90 meters this time. Okay, we don't want to be too low. I've been getting too low, apparently. All right, close in on our destroyer friend, who's pretty low in the water. She does not look good. A couple of 500-pound bomb hits uh, should certainly put her under. However, she is turning away now. Uh, these little guys don't give us any command points. Let's get a little lower than that. 60 meters. See if that is sufficient. It's just so much easier to line up when you're nice and close to the deck, but... All right, get ready to drop all bombs. And bombs away. One, two. Come on. Wow, there we go. Bomb hit. Perfect. One dud, one bomb. One actual hit. All right, get out of here. That bomb hit resulted in a secondary explosion and quite a bit of smoke. However, it does look like she is still sailing away. I think it's time for us to disengage from this fight. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.